Yeah, it now, really is. Now, I wanted to ask you, man, you've been doing film right for 11 years, man. How how do you keep going? Because I, I've been doing mine now. It was going to be five years in July. And I've seen a lot of people come and go. I know you've seen a lot of people come and go as far as YouTubers, yeah. as far as podcasts, as far as film blogs that come and they go and they don't really stay or they, they do a nice run for three or four years and then they're out. There's a, a level of endurance that is needed to do this kind of work. Um, and while you're still also chasing your dream and also doing work that you want to do uh, as, yeah. as, and also yeah. building and also building your business because you've got to feed that business. Um, I don't know about you, but for me, I find it so rewarding helping people. Uh, it, it, it's addictive. Yes. It's addictive now. I, I've, I can't live without doing yeah. something like this because I see the impact that my work is doing for people. Um, and then I still get the pleasure to do my own work and direct my own movies and do my own projects and stuff like that. But the endurance is something that a lot of people come jumping into this filmmaking space, either on YouTube or podcasting or blog, they have no understanding yeah. what it takes. Like I'm on episode almost, I'm getting close to 400 on, mm -hmm. on this podcast. And you know, you guys, how many videos do you guys have? Like <laughs> it's, it's we're almost that because we don't count everything we put up. But as far as like episodes of Film Riot go, we're almost at a thousand. That's but if you would count everything, we're well over a thousand. But then we used to have a show called um, uh, Film State, which was like a movie news show. And that had something like 400 episodes. Uh so, you know, all together with like all short films, all videos we've done, you know, 2000, it's, it's probably around 2000. Yeah. So that's an insane <clears throat> amount of work to create that much content and consistently do it, which is one of the reasons why you're one of the, one of the, the, the brands that has, has survived and are, are left at the mountaintop, if you will. There's a handful of, of those brands that have been around for a long time that are still around, but I remember I remember brands that and companies that that were around when I was starting out there it's gone. It's just yeah, you know. Yeah, it is an endurance game. Like you're definitely right about that. But I, I mean, I think just like the industry, you have to have a sickness. You know, there's like, <laughs> you know, it takes a, a broken brain like we have. You know, it's just like where insanity. It's, it's, it's insanity. Insanity. It's just you cannot help yourself. I mean. A story I told earlier on, on, on another show was, you know, Ballistic, when um, when we shot that, there was there was two legs to Ballistic was a um, an action sci fi I did and released in like 2018. And um, there was an L.A. leg to it and there was a Texas leg to it. The Texas was all night stuff. It was thriller ish. And the L.A. stuff was all day action. And <clears throat> there was about 100 plus people on set. Um, we had like six to eight cameras. We had practical explosions, wire work, uh, dude lit on fire, you know, nice. this car that we were launching and blowing up and madness, madness. Um, and I had to orchestrate this chaos and, uh, dude, I dry heaved in the morning and on the way to set every morning, I was like, I want to go back to the hotel. I want to go back to the hotel. I want to go back yeah. to the hotel. Oh yeah. But then the second those monitors come up, all that falls away. It becomes blinders and you're just in it and it's like game on and, <clears throat> and you get through that process and it's the most stressful. You can't eat, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's horrible and amazing and you get through the process and you're at the end of it and you haven't slept and you feel like shit and you're like, God, that was hard. I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> and so we're just sick. We're sick individuals, you know? And then I mean, just even like what we've been talking about, about trying to make it like it's Jesus. It's like 16 years since film school for me, longer for you. And yeah. we're still beating our head against the wall because we just can't help ourselves. It's that somebody asked me yesterday, they said, you know, I haven't been doing this, this, that long, but I feel like I'm not getting better. And I, I you know, it just feels like maybe this industry is not a super viable industry. And I'm like, what can I do? You know, how do you think? I'm like, the only question you have to ask yourself is, can you do something else? If you could do something else and be happy, this isn't for you. Do that thing. Yeah. If you can't, if you cannot do something else, then yeah, pursue this, but you know, still be smart. I mean, you know, my, I will not stop until I either die or make a movie. I don't one or the other, you know, but you still got to be smart just as you have and be able to pay your bills and provide for your family. So there is that no matter what, having your financial backup plans as you're still pursuing your goal, you got to be smart. But, um, 
there's no anything else. I don't, I couldn't do anything else. And I would be miserable. In fact, there was, um, <clears throat> just like to emphasize the point, there was a time, uh, God, I think it was around early 2017 where I was getting so burnt out. I was just like, not super happy about life. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and my wife and everybody was like, dude, you need to take a break. Cause I was working almost seven days a week. Like once my kids were born, I, I took it from seven days a week to six days a week, but I was still working like insane amount of hours a week. And I was starting to get sober dot and my, I hadn't taken a vacation since my honeymoon, which was like, you know, seven years ago. And my brother was like, all right, I'm, I'm forcing you. I'm pulling the plug. You have to go on a vacation. I was like, fine. Okay. Yes. I'll go on a vacation. Went on a vacation for seven days and I came back feeling physically more refreshed, but mentally I felt the exact same. I'm like, what is going on? We just went on a week long, gorgeous beach vacation. I should be so like ready to get back to work. And then I started a new project and all of that, like miserable feeling just went mm -hmm. away. And what mm -hmm. I realized was it had been like over a year since I was working on something outside of just general weekly film riot, like I, like a short film or just mm -hmm. even writing something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Oh, that's what was making me. That's what it was. And, um, which I, you know, we it's know that we have to do this thing. It's a sickness. It's a sickness. And it it's just, a sickness. Just to have that like clear evidence of like, Oh yeah. I have to be doing this or I'm legit miserable. It doesn't make any sense, but you know, if, if, if you have that sickness, it, it makes it a little easier. Cause you just, it's not, you just can't help yourself. And then, like you said, it is a bit of a drug to help people like mm -hmm. to see it actually help them is like more rewarding than anything that we do. Like if in the end, all I do is film, right? I never get my chance to make my feature because either a, I can't bring the finances together myself or be a studio, which is not going to happen. I'm going to do it no matter what's going to happen. <laughs> but even if that were the case, um, the reward that film riot has been for me, for us, uh, would be totally worth it. Like there's been some meetings that I've had for people that, you know, are way more advanced than me. And they're like, Hey, I used to watch film, right. When I was in film school and I'm like, shut the fuck up. Are you serious? You know, <laughs> that's crazy. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. 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 I've um, had that. I've and, had that too. That's insane. <laughs> is it? And it's the it's best feeling. And, and then when they tell you, not only did they watch it, but then they say like, that really helped me or this is what made me realize this is what I wanted to do. That's like, dude, nothing, nothing is more of a gift than hearing that. Mm -hmm. Um, so that that's like a huge, you know, motivator. And, and I think, I think that feedback, not just being able to make stuff like just being able to be creative on a weekly basis and the education it has been for us, but that feedback or, you know, the feedback of somebody telling us that it's entertainment for them, that lets them get their mind off this or that, that stuff I think is really what fuels the tank for us to do it over and over and over and over and over again. Cause it does get, you know, it does get tiring. Um, mm -hmm. but just have, having that community, um, yeah, that, that definitely is, is the fuel for the, is the main fuel in the tank, I think. Yeah. Without question, man.